Pulisic had a banger and an assist off the bench in a loss to Monza. Uh, good flicked header to Giroud for the assist, and then the goal was just a very satisfying strike, bending it in at the far post just slightly and rising and rising. I mean, the ball was bending in at the far post just slightly and rising almost until it hit the nylon. Let me play the clip from uh, Mara Suma. Reinders prova il Milan a spostare gli avversari, ma la messa in mezzo, troppo bassa, troppo bassa. Ancora Chris Pulisic, ancora Chris Pulisic, Chris Pulisic viene in mezzo, il tiro di Chris Pulisic, il gol meraviglioso! Canadame! Canadame! Canad! Canad! That angle from behind the post, uh, real nice. He scored a lot of nice goals in the last six months. Like more in the last six months than all the other months of his career combined, I feel like. And and, and really all the rest of the pool combined. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? When we when we make sure that we keep pulling on that pedestal, just just remember that. Remember that for whatever whatever slump is coming. Uh and you know, he was he was in somewhat of a slump, G plus A slump, you know what I'm saying? And a performance slump. I think a lot of people were just were saying his his general play, you know, wasn't up to snuff, and which I kind of agree with, and there's and there's some articles coming out now that we've reached. Uh, I, so I guess we're at the point where, you know, advanced stats are sticky enough to make comments on. So you know, we got the smart, we got the smart football people, the quants coming out saying actually, you know, Christian Pulisic has not been that good for Milan, and you know what I'm saying to on top of that, Brendan Aronson scored this week, so Big Brendo was about to start up their their own <laughs> ad campaign. Uh, their 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 activation, you know, what I'm saying to get to get ben, Brendo back into the American consciousness, um, as he once as he once was. But uh, so there was a lot riding on this game for Pulley. I, I I think it's fair to say. And so yeah. he came off the bench and made sure that you know he put all that to rest. This was supposed to be his day off too. He didn't. I, I don't think he trained much mm -hmm. this week, or he didn't train the day before. Fatigue. Right, had to had to be called in and do the job though. And he did look; his face looked tired. He was flying out there, you know, doing some stuff. Really gave gave the defender with the head bandage some serious problems. Mm. He wasn't good enough to guard Pulisic. Yeah, he runs into that now and then, doesn't he? Just a just a just an overwhelming mismatch in his favor. Yeah, I. Um, so does Brendo, well, we'll get to Brendo, but does he jump Gio in the depth chart now <clears throat> with this goal? Who? Brendo. Brendo <laughs> I'm oh, just but he, we had a coach, I guess we'll wait, but his coach was saying he needs, he needs to get in the weight room. Ooh. Yep. So. Is this the first time he's ever heard that? It's the first time a coach has said it publicly. Yeah. Well, um, pool six, I mean, that's a great goal. That's enough to carry me through a weekend. Um, what do Milan fans think? They, well, they love him. Here's, here's a, a tweet. It says, this is one from a Quariano. Mm -hmm. I just say thank you to Mr. Pulisic Christian for throwing away a year of his I hope with my heart for a great career for him in this lower club. If he chooses another team in June, I won't tell him anything. Just thanks and sorry. I think they're a little, maybe a little <laughs> bit too emotional. I think they may be overreacting. I love where they're at, you know, loving Christian, but I think they need to yeah. practice a little bit of self care here. Yeah. Don't be so hard, dope don't be so hard on yourself. It is dope that they what? That they love them. Yeah. And, they're kind of. I think they're they're grappling with the fact that they're just have, gonna have to wave the white towel when it comes to the Scudetto. You know, like winning the championship. They enter is uh, doesn't seem like they're gonna get caught by either AC Milan or Juve. So they're, they're not, coping. Um, yeah, with that they're a little, they're a bit red card prone, and mm -hmm. then they're bad at defense, and that hurt them in this game. Yeah. Mr. Pulisic Christian wasn't enough. No. 
How'd Musa well, look? Enough, man. Well, he, he did some very productive, long vertical dribbles that people will be familiar with. He wasn't out there long. Okay. But he looked he had a positive impact. Although they did, didn't score a bunch of goals while he was there. I'm not putting that on his doorstep, though. <laughs>